Good afternoon, John Stefanovic with JBN Breaking News. All across Australia and around the world there have been UFO sightings and reports of them dumping some kind of waste. A waste that seems to be knocking out all social media communications. For more on this crisis, we cross live now to our reporter Robin Jacobs in Brisbane. Thanks John. Well as you mentioned, the falling waste seems to have caused a communication dropout but only on social media platforms. Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, and others have simply gone dark. There's no explanation yet as to why the UFOs are here, what it is they're dropping, or how it's affecting social media platforms, but it's having a major impact on people all around the world. There is looting in shops, people burning vehicles, and a general disregard for authorities. We've spoke to some people that have been affected by this crisis. So Anthony, what are your thoughts on the aliens dumping their waste? How has this affected you? Well, I saw one and then I saw the waste being dropped from the sky and I was like, I've got to get out of here. And what about the social media outage? Oh mate, I dumped my missus yesterday. Now Facebook's down, I can't update my profile and I can't even get on Tinder. I'm going to be single for life. Without the social media, we can't do any advertising. We advertise our specials. Um, we advertise what is on special for lunch menus, um, mainly to, to reach any customers or any, anyone that we can let know about what's on, on our specials for the day. We just can't do anything. Um, mainly that's all we use it for, so yeah. So how has the outage affected your day-to-day -day life? I was benching 100 kilos this morning and it's my life I want to publish on social media and I can't do that and I feel angry. And how does that make you feel? I feel really angry. It's terrible. I feel the government should do something about it. So how is this impacting your day-to-day -day life? I feel lonely. I haven't been able to watch beauty gurus for a few days. So how does that make you feel? Friendless. W would you be my friend? But we don't even know each other. Just friend me. Yeah. Users are demanding that Facebook, Snapchat and others fix this issue quickly. There is yet to be an official announcement from any of the social media giants. Back to you, John. Carly Brown is Facebook's Chief Operating Officer in Australia and she joins me now live from Canberra. Carly, thank you for your time. Firstly, what are your thoughts about this crisis and what is Facebook doing to resolve the issue? John, this is something that no one expected to happen and I assure you our engineers are working around the clock to re-establish our services, but as long as the waste is still being dumped, there's not a lot we can do. Was it the waste that shut down Facebook or did the company do that? Well, we think there's an electromagnetic component to the waste and it was causing huge problems with our online services. So we took the decision to shut down the platform until these issues could be resolved. Your customers are demanding that you fix this straight away. What message do you have for them? All I can say, John, is that we are doing the very best we can and we hope that people remember Facebook is free and always will be. And that concludes today's breaking news. Wherever you are out there, stay safe, look after each other, and best of luck to those who are struggling without social media. You could always follow us on Facebook and Twitter, but obviously now that can't happen. But remember, it's not the end of the world. If you need to tell people how you slept, or show them a picture of your great lunch, or ask someone to be your friend, you could always do it the old fashioned way, on the phone or in person. You know, like we used to do, before there was even a social media. Something to think about. From all of us here in the studio, have a great afternoon.